So we got a jam-packed Transformer Tuesday today. Three pieces of news to cover within our Transformer world. One of them having to do with a Transformers model kit that was pretty much in developmental hell for almost five years now and is finally going to get released. We have our first look at the packaging art for our big expensive HasLab Transformer product. And the biggest news of them all, we have our date for our Transformers Fan First Friday, our first Fan First Friday of 2022, which will give us a peek into the future of the brand going into the new year. So let's jump into all of that and break it all down and make sense of everything. And the first thing we got here is Flame Toys and their Farai model kit line. Now, back in late 2017, Flame Toys revealed to the world their Farai model kit Transformers line. And they showed a whole bunch of prototypes. And then at the Hong Kong Toy Soul Expo, a toy show and model kit show, in Hong Kong revealed some prototypes and they showed off the Farai model kit Optimus Prime, the Bumblebee, the Starscream, and a Hound. Now, anyone who collects Farai model kits or builds them knows that that Optimus Prime did come out, so did the Bumblebee, and so did the Starscream. But the Hound didn't. Now, there's different speculation and through all the years in the past five years of why that didn't happen. Uh, some just figure, you know, hey, the other three are, you know, Legendary 7 characters, top-tier characters for licensing. And Hound is just, you know, one of the more secondary-tier, third-tier kind of G1 characters. The interest wasn't there, and he ended up either being canceled or in development hell. And that was that. They even had uh, the designs and art on the wall at this Hong Kong Toy Expo. Uh, the designs were done by Akira Amemiya who is the guy who was behind the Gridman series, which also has a little bit of a Transformer connection there. So that's why they had such that really awesome aesthetic and that Obari kind of look to them, because Gridman pretty much is Obari <laughs> in a lot of ways. But, you know, this ended up not happening, and that was that, and we just kind of accepted the fact that we're probably not going to be getting that Hound for eye model kit. Lo and behold, according to their Twitter account today on Flame Toys, they announced that long overdue, after much, you know, planning, the G1 Farai model hound toy is going to be coming out. And they showed a brand new image of the model kit, but pretty much looks unchanged in terms of details and everything from those old prototype images that we saw back in December of 2017, almost five years ago. Now, what is the deal with this model kit? You know, again, Farai is all about those crazy proportions and, and a different take on the Generation 1 characters. That's just how it is, and I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. I like different takes of classic designs. And this Hound one, it's, it's funny. There's a lot of different things going on here. Number one, his head sculpt, while it is very similar to his original G1 Hound design, uh, he has a he has a little reader over his eyes, very similar to that of let's say Demolisher from Transformers Armada. So it kind of invokes that kind of design. Uh, Transformers Armada Demolisher was actually called Iron Hind in the Japanese version. So I don't think it's that kind of two sided homage. I think it's just a coincidence of aesthetic, probably because he has all these guns and everything on him. He has an extremely exaggerated shoulder cannon, aka his his uh, hologram projector, so it's absolutely massive now. He comes with some kind of Uzi, which is also pretty cool, and some kind of machete blade weapon. Looks like he's decked out almost like uh, like Roadbuster in a lot of ways, which is all the weapons and everything. And he also comes with a chain gun. And what's interesting about this chain gun, and this goes back to also why I think he might have been planned for 2017 back then, was in 2017 we also had the Last Night movie. The Michael Bay, la the last Michael Bay live action Transformers movie. And that was in 2017 also. And, and Hound was a character in that movie. And anyone who knows Movie Hound as opposed to G1 Hound, Movie Hound has a gigantic chain gun. So I think also it was Farai model trying to fuse the two aesthetics, you know, have some of the weapons and ideas of the Movie Hound mixed with the Generation 1 design. And he has this big chain gun now 
just like his movie Incarnation. And I guess maybe because the movie didn't perform as well or maybe there wasn't as much interest in it, they kind of put that one aside and, you know, not have... I, I mentioned before how you have to have synergy sometimes even with the other parts in the brand where if you have a Rise of the Beast movie, you want to have some classic Beast War stuff that kind of have synergy with it. I think that that's what they were tr probably trying to do here too is just have some kind of synergy and ultimately in the end it wasn't worth, you know, it wasn't worth the time. So that's what I believe uh, probably happened. But at the end of the day, we know that we are getting this kit now after all these years. He looks fantastic. I mean, I've built a bunch of these model kits. I have Windblade coming in the mail. I can't wait to pick her up. And uh, that's a really great looking kit too. So this is exciting. We don't have a release date yet, but we do know that finally this kit that has been in limbo <laughs> for so long is finally going to be happening, so can't wait for that. That's really exciting. Next up, we have our Transformers HasLab product, our HasLab Victory Saber, Victory Leo, Star Saber. Uh, we have an update for anyone who backed that item, and it's a first look at the packaging art and box art for the item, which is going to be very uh, a much different take than what we got with Unicron. Unicron was the uh, almost uh, Generation Selects, just kind of simple brown box thing. This time around, we're getting something that's full color. And this art comes courtesy of Guido Guidi, who has worked within the Transformer world many times and does some absolutely fantastic work. And Guido shared some images here of a schematic of Victory Saber with Star Saber and Victory Leo charging forward in a very Japanese anime style of the Transformers Victory TV show. Guido does amazing work, and this looks absolutely fantastic. Again, a different take from what we got with our first HasLab with... Uh, with um, Unicron, I'm going to assume it's just maybe more of a size thing because this one is something that's more retail sized as opposed to Unicron that was a washing machine practically <laughs> for anyone that picked up that product and got it in the mail. Uh, you know, it's a big transformer when it has, you know, handles on the side to hold it. But yeah, pretty awesome stuff too. Again, the art looks really good. I'll, I'll post the uh, full size images on the Saturday Night Live stream. Uh, looks really, really good. Fantastic stuff. And the last news, and probably the biggest news of them all, and the most exciting, is that of Transformers Fan First Friday and its date that we finally got. So this Friday, February 4th, is going to be our first Fan First Friday. And so this was revealed on Hasbro and the Transformers official Instagram account, and they wrote... Rise up and catch the Transformers team this Friday, February 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the first Fan First Friday stream of 2022 on Hasbro Pulse's YouTube channel. It's going to be full of franchise news, product reveals, and pre-order news. The Decepticons sure know how to lure us in, so don't miss it. So, first thing I want to say here, uh, they mention full franchise news so this is exciting because we still don't know what's happening in terms of fiction for 2022 in terms of animation and even movie stuff because while we do know that our rise of the beast movie is now pushed back to neck it's being pushed to next year in 2023 we don't know about it our tv series yeah we got some vague mentions of a bot bots tv series a vague mention of a new transformers family series but no information outside of that nothing absolutely nothing so hopefully this this piece here that mentions franchise news we'll probably learn about what's happening with our new tv series what's happening with the nickelodeon one what's happening with netflix 2022 we're already now starting february and we don't know what's happening with the brand in terms of ongoing fiction so that's some interesting stuff and hopefully they'll talk about it then product reveals well we have so much stuff that we discussed here on the podcast of so many different listings and products and everything. So hopefully we'll get our first look at some of that stuff, maybe some early Wave 2 stuff of Legacy, maybe some of the Generation Select stuff. Who knows? But hopefully we'll learn about that soon. Maybe even some of those Walmart reveals, the Amazon exclusive stuff. They'll probably give us 
one or two items, but at least it'll be something that'll be exciting to get excited about. And the last thing here, pre-order news. Chances are that Friday, get your wallet warmed up. There's probably going to be some kind of pre-order that's going to be dropping on the Hasbro Pulse website also. Chances are, well, we already saw a few of the others that went up on pre-order. Maybe we're going to see what's that Cyclonus Armada. Maybe we're going to see DK3, the blue repaint of Trailbreaker. You know, maybe we're going to see Buzzsaw. Maybe we're going to see Night Prowler. We shall see what is going to be revealed and what is going to go up on pre-order. But again, get that wallet ready because historically speaking, not always, Guard is still holding firm. But historically speaking, some of this stuff sometimes sells out pretty quickly. So get ready for that too. And that's it, more or less. Again, it's going to be this Friday. So it's going to be a busy, busy Friday for the podcast. Let's put it this way. There's going to be a lot of news dropping. And, uh, you know, we'll report it, we'll break it down, and we'll make sense of everything here. So I hope to see you then really soon. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. It's a beautiful world out there.